Uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will basically show you how you can build out a video converter inside node.js in command line using ffmpg library so essentially in node.js there is a package or API you, you may call interface of ffmpg which is called as fluent ffmpg basically it's a base library if you want to use ffmpg commands inside your node.js application very easily so there is a person who has developed this library fluent ffmpg it's a very easy library with the help of which you can basically execute very difficult commands of ffmpg very easily in node.js applications so we will be looking at a very simple video converter application here in this tutorial i will show you how to convert video from one extension to another from mp4 to avi from mp4 to wmv so we will be looking at these examples in this video so the first of all you need to install this package just go to mpnjs.com and here you need to search for this library fluent ffmpg and just you type this result out there and the very first result comes in just click this result and you will land on the documentation right here so it has a very nice documentation you can read more about this library so we will be looking at a very basic example here of video converting and uh, so right here we need to simply install this library uh, let me show you the demo here what we will be building right here in this tutorial so as you can see guys we have a video.mp4 file right here in my directory if i open this file this is a very simple file 3 minute 43 seconds long video and uh, it contains some data here you can see basically if i play this video in a video player it is just my video which is playing audio is also there so I just want to convert this video into multiple extensions such as AVI and MUV so inside my program you will see I put this extension output part to be output.avi so now if I launch this application just to execute this node index.js so we have also used ff probe guys ff probe is a part of uh, ffmpg which allows you to get meta information about the video file such as the, how much long the video is uh, what is the extension all that stuff and uh, why we are using this because to show pro progress bar to the user so as i execute the script right here you will see guys the progress bar will be also be there so the user will obviously know how much processing time is required how much processing has been done so the progress bar will be shown to the user in real time you can see that 0 54 percent 56 so once it reaches 100 percent and the processing will be done and a message will be displayed on the screen that your processing has been done by ffmpg and now your video has been converted so once it reaches 100 percent guys you will see the message has popped in that conversion has finished now you can check the end product which is in the left hand side if I play the video and uh, this is the size difference you can see mp4 video was 42 meg uh, megabytes now this is 33 megabytes so size is also been reduced so if I play the same video guys the video has been same the quality hasn't been compromised and still you can see the same video playing right here so in this way you can uh, convert this video from one format to another let me take one other example here let me want to convert this into WMV this is also a extension and uh, once again I repeat the same process node index.js and once again it will show the progress bar to us and the progress bar has been started and once it reaches 100% and also you can see the time as well the time is running out and once it reaches zero second the conversion will be finished and you will be able to play your output video file so it is reaching 8385 so it basically calculates this progress bar according to the ffmpg uh, commands whatever time that they provide thus you can see that this is the actual file and the size is again 34 megabytes so you can play these files right here the video description I don't have the player to play these files WMV so it requires uh, 
a separate player so i don't have that player installed you can try out on your own machine as well guys so now we will start building this application so just delete these files and after you install this package the command is npmi fluent ffmpg this is actual command guys npmi fluent ffmpg just install this module and after you install it we will start coding this process step by step so the very first thing you need to do right here you need to require the library at the very top so require this library and after that we need to build out a progress bar as well so for building the progress bar guys we need to have this library installed as well in node.js so there is a package here which allows you to in the console in the command line if you want to display a progress bar you need to install this package which is progress so this is the name of the library and pmi progress so you simply install this package so after you instantiated it now we just need to provide the input file path and the output file path so the uh, video is present in the same directory so video.mp4 and then the output file path so this will be called as output dot mov let's suppose mov is also a video extension now first of all guys we will basically get the duration of the video the full duration how much long the video is dynamically for that we will simply say ff probe this is the function which is provided by ffmpg guys ff probe actually contains uh, if you want to uh, get the meta data of a video file such as uh, which is the extension what is the extension how much long is the video all such information can be obtained by using this method here we need to pass the input file path and then this returns a callback function error and metadata so this metadata will contain all such information about that video file so if i console log this metadata and run this video file sorry run this uh, node.js script node index.js you will see a long object will be returned to you and this long object contain all such information what is the codec used h264 codec long name all that stuff profile codec type code extract the width of the video height codec width codec height all such information is present guys which you need to use this is the information we will use which is duration you can see that this will this value is in second so 223 seconds is the duration time of this video so how we can do that we can simply get this information by using metadata dot format dot duration so we will declare a separate variable which is total duration so this will be equal to metadata dot format dot duration this is the actual thing so if i console log this total duration and just delete this so we will get this total duration and which is comes out to be 223 seconds one it's a floating point value and uh, then what we need to do is that based upon this value we now need to create a progress bar so now we need to create a progress bar so we need to initialize a new bar here new progress bar <coughs> new progress bar so progress bar just rename this to progress bar here we are requiring this package here and now to initialize the new progress bar we just need to here say this this will be a bar chart simple bar chart and this will be showing the dynamic percentage so percent e t a s and then here we need to provide the width which is 40 of the progress bar and the total length of the progress bar will be equal to the total duration that's all so this is how we initialize our progress bar now we need to simply do the ffmpg path guys to do the video processing <coughs> to do the video processing so now we need to simply use the ffmpg library so ffmpg it's basically a constructor here we will pass the input file path to load the video and then it contains various methods guys one such method is output so output simply means that 
which file you need to create output file path that's all and then we have video codec which video codec we are using so as you can see guys in order to speed up the process as i'm using nvidia graphic card if you are using nvidia graphic card guys if you have a dedicated graphic card inside your system then you can add this option to speed up the process of fmpg as you know guys without using graphic card if you have a very simple computer then it will take a lot of time for the processing of that video because generally speaking ffmpg takes a lot of time to process videos but if you have a dedicated graphic card then you can use this option video coded so it will use your graphic card for the processing so for nvidia graphic card this is the option that you need to pass h264 underscore n v e n c this is the thing so this will speed up the process very significantly and then we need to also pass the audio codec as well which we will use in this case aac you can go to ffmpg documentation guys and all get all these things values sorted out so all the documentation is given you will get to understand better what these things are if you don't know <coughs> then we can even use pass some output options as well using this method if you want to pass some options here one such option is dash move flex so this is actual option so what i will do basically i will pass this option simply copy this paste it that's all and now it contains some events guys dot on so here you can listen for the starting of the ffmpg command so here we can pass the command here and here we will say console log ffmpg command and then actual command so there is also a progress event as well we can listen to so a progress event so to show to show the progress bar once the ffmpg processing has started this event will automatically fire so now inside this we now need to show the progress bar so to show the progress bar we now need to calculate uh, the current time in seconds so this value will be equal to we need to create a function which will convert the hour minutes and seconds to actual seconds we will create this function guys uh, we here in this function we will actually pass the progress dot time mark this is the actual property if you see if you console log the progress and try to run this application right here you will see a object will be returned to you <coughs> if i try to Uh, FMPG. Let me see what is this is a bar which is created right here, and let me see if I want to write this outside. okay okay so inside this progress event the progress will be there and once one more event is also there which is end event so this event will fire when your command is successful in this we will say command finish a message is printed out so these three events are there when the command is started this event will fire to show the progress bar this event will fire and when the command is finished this event will fire on end so at this moment of time if i launch this application it is basically printing out the total duration of the video which comes out to be 223 seconds so this value is coming here total duration input file path so what i need to do is that here we now need to define this function which it's a helper function which is used to convert the format of time 
hour, minute, second to seconds. So this function we will define HMS to seconds. The value will be passed here and uh, we will basically split this value using the split method by under colon and then we will return the three parts. So let me write this function guys. It's a utility based kind of function. All the source code is given in the description of the video guys. So after watching the video you can copy, you can go to the description of the video and get the source code. Now <coughs> inside and one more thing guys you do need to run this function as well after there is also a on for the error as well if any sort of error take place this error will be shown to you in the command console log error and lastly we need to run this so we need to now run this in order to run this command right here so as I run this command as I you will see guys automatically every time this object will be returned to you this information contained frames total frames current FF, fps current kbps target size time mark we now need to get this time mark value this is the actual thing we need to get time mark and this is a percentage which is returned to us so once this percentage reaches 100 percent we are basically showing our progress bar so we just need to translate this to a bar progress bar and lastly your command finish this message will be printed out because we have put this message right here on the end <coughs> so now what our process is very much similar guys we now need to <coughs> convert this by calling this function and providing it as an argument here progress to a time mark this will convert this uh, to the current time in seconds after we get this value we can update our uh, bar chart so it contains a method bar dot update and we will basically get the current time in seconds we will divide this value we will do some math here to the total duration of the video so this will actually get the percentage value and uh, when the when the command is finished we will simply update the bar chart by one so this will basically ensure the bar animation is finished when the command is finished also. So I think now the application is complete guys. <coughs> so <coughs> we can basically run our application. So let me delete this. So no file is present guys. So once I run this. So you can see that the progress bar is there. We just no, don't need to print out every time. Let me delete that console log. <coughs> so let me uh, delete this console log progress and restart the application. So now you can see that guys, the progress bar is showing right here and once it reaches 100%, your progress will be finished and you will actually get your output video file. <coughs> so in this way guys with the help of Fluent FFmpg you can show a real progress bar inside FFmpg to let the user know how much processing time is uh, remaining in order for the completion of the command. So no video is present on the internet guys on this topic so that's why I decided to make this video you can see MOV file is generated right here Hello and guys. this is your MOV file basically build out another PDF editor and renderer so kind of in this way guys you can build out a very simple video converter in command line using fluent FFMPG command line library and uh, thank you very much for watching this video all the source code is given in the description of the video and I will be seeing you in the next video